Rear window is a great example of classic story shaping which is definable, fulfilling the audience's need for a specific structure. There is a wonderful buildup of tension with a variety of interwoven elements that climax and provide a satisfying conclusion. The set design does an amazing job of defining the atmosphere of the film with rich texture-filled environments such as the interior of Jeffrey's apartment, the event hall courtyard, and even the interiors of various other apartments experienced vicariously through the continued observations of Jeffrey's. To me, the style of the film is almost surreal, giving it a stage-like presence. The nonverbal exchanges are some of the most powerful moments of the film. The staging of the scene showing the neighbor observations were especially well done because they gave just enough information to continue the action, yet left enough ambiguity to retain the utmost hey, tension. The the With careful aesthetic planning, the camera switches to Jeffrey's forced confinement point of view across his territory, the back courtyard. I loved how the courtyard area was set up to give glimpses of the people that lived inside little snippets of typical human character types. All of these changes are accentuated by dramatic lighting and camera angles chosen specifically to emphasize the mood of a scene. I picked the morning after the murder shot with Stella and Jeffries. The lighting is bright, whitish, and harsh as an early to mid-morning. It contrasts the shadowed, unlit apartment, which again suggests morning the things are just getting going after a long night. When Jeffries finishes his massage, in which he recaps lightly about the mysterious doings of the salesman, he takes up his post. In the next few minutes, Jeffries rolls himself in and out of the veil of shadow in the apartment as he hides from Thorwald. The camera angle switches from outside Jeffries' window looking in to the point of view of Jeffries observing Thorwald, sometimes edited to include the rounded cropping of the long angle lens. This scene marks the transition of his observations from entertainment to something that he recognizes as ethically questionable. This is also the point in which he makes the decision to use the long distance lens. It is implied that he is validating this with his legitimate suspicions. When he rigs it, he is purposefully in the dark, just as he is only partly lit when he is observing with it. This accentuates that his actions are now undeniably covert and directed, and he is starting to raise big questions about not only the circumstances of the salesman's overnight trips, but his own inner ethical struggle about watching him.